Welcome back. GE has seen a sizable rebound to start the year. However, options traders now betting on more downside. Pete Najarian joins us from Minneapolis with some unusual activity. I know one option trader who's been betting on more downside. That's the one I'm looking at in the camera. You mean there's yeah. others? <laughs> Yeah, there, there's somebody else out there, Scott, as a matter of fact, because these guys are buying the first week in May. They're buying 50,000 of the nine and a half puts right now in GE. Now, we had seen all the, that put activity for months and months and months. We hadn't seen it in a while now, and now we're seeing it once again. So, yes, it looks like somebody's expecting the stock to actually pull back in the next couple of weeks, because like I say, first week of May is when those expire. So, big trade, 50,000 of these, fairly inexpensive, but the risk reward, I like it. I bought along with these guys, so I'll be in here for a couple of weeks. I also got another one. I got it in the energy space, the XOP. We've talked about this a couple times. It's the S&P 500 oil and gas index. Now, this has been on a nice move, a steady move to the upside. They were buying the last week in April calls. They were going for the 32 and a half calls, and they were buying those pretty aggressively as well today, Scott. Bought about 7,700 of those, and not, not more than like 30 minutes later, they bought 10,000 of the May 34 calls as well. So expecting to see something happening in a positive way in oil and gas. I know we've all talked about the price of oil and where it is and how it's been moving to the upside. I have a lot of exposure in this particular sector. I own these calls as well. So I like what's happening right now in XOP. I think it's ready to break out. That's what the paper tells me. Well, I got one last hold, one Hang on one you. second. We've hang on, hang about, on real quick. Hang yeah. on. Hang yeah. on. Yeah. Just yeah. Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold up. Chill out. <laughs> hey, man. Come I, back to you in a they second. Tell me to go like, on, get go. all revved up like a lawnmower. What's, uh, what's <laughs> the ball right. mean? All right, so hold on one second. All right, just want to talk to you about General yeah. Electric. What was the date gotcha. again on GE, the puts? The, May, the first week in May, so they're May 3rd expiring puts. Okay, the reason I'm, I mean, I'm saying yep. the earnings from what I see are scheduled around the 19th of April. So right. that's not a big surprise, right? I mean, somebody's betting right. that their earnings are a disappointment again right. and that the stock starts yep. another drip. Yep. And the commentary might not be all that positive as much as a lot has been built into what everybody read last time. So maybe there is a pullback this time that actually does push this below nine and a half. Stock's trading right at 10, Scott. So it's just on either side of 10. So the possibility, it's not that far away from a move that could actually put these, these puts into favor and actually start to explode to the upside. Okay. Now, please, proceed. <laughs> Okay, so this is the most interesting of the three for me, JD. Now, the reason it is, this has now hit 17 times this year, 2019, with bullish activity. And if you look at that chart, you can tell, for the most part, they've been right on every single one of these buys. Well, they're buying the last week in April calls this time as well in JD. So the aggressive buying that we've seen time and time again, I continue to own, I continue to sell, I continue to roll up every time I see another Another roll up to the upside. I want to ride along with them. So we're seeing some pretty aggressive buying in there as well, Scott. 4,000 of these Aprils. They're the 31 and a half calls. So they're just out of the money of where these are trading right now. These could explode to the upside with a move. We've seen a lot going on in China. ASHR I've brought up several times. A lot of activity there as well. You see what's going on with Baba and some of the rest of these. So it looks like JD, I think, has more upside to come.